Have you ever wondered what our world leaders discuss behind closed doors? Those conversations rarely leave the room. But what happens when they get out? Usually it doesn't end well. The Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif seems to be the latest victim of such a leak. An audio tape has come out where Zarif, the Foreign Minister, allegedly claims that he is not in control of the foreign policy and it's the revolutionary guards who call the shots. And that efforts were underway to sabotage the Iran nuclear deal. Our next report brings you a glimpse of the power struggles in Iran. It's a leak that couldn't have come at a worse time for the Iranian government. The entire control of no policy should be in the hands of one person only. Policy of the battlefield must also be dependent on the country's strategy, but it has not been as such. Policy of the battlefield has been the determinant of the country's policy. That voice belonged to this man, Mohammad Javed Zarif, the foreign minister of Iran. What you heard him say was this. The Revolutionary Guards dictate the foreign policy of Iran. It's the foreign minister himself saying he's not the one in charge. It's an explosive tape. It surfaced on Sunday and lifted the veil of secrecy that covered the Iranian government. Perhaps for the first time, the world has insights into the turf wars within the Islamic Republic. The audio is said to have been recorded in March. That's when the Iranian foreign minister spoke to an economist. Of course, it wasn't supposed to leak, but now it has, and no one knows who was behind this leak. The tapes reveal how restricted Zarif feels in office. In his own words, his decisions are dictated either by the Revolutionary Guards or the Supreme Leader himself. In this part of the tape, the Iranian foreign minister reveals how he was undermined by Qasem Soleimani, the former commander of the elite Quds Force, the man who was killed in an American operation last year. For example, hold off on carrying out some operation for a while until I can do my job. But almost each time that I went for talks, it was Martyr Soleimani who asked me to get a concession or point in regional talks. Zarif doesn't stop there. He later narrates how Soleimani was working to sabotage Iran's nuclear deal with world powers, by working with Russia and by ramping up the Iranian intervention in the Syrian civil war. In the last week that led to the signing of the JCPOA, Russia did its best to prevent reaching a deal and that's why the Russian foreign minister was absent on the stage. He would tell me to demand a list of items from Lavrov when I went for talks with him. He wanted diplomacy to be spent on what he wanted to do in Idlib for the Shiites. These were sacred goals though, I am not trying to deny it. These revelations come at a critical time for Iran. Tehran has resumed negotiations to revive the nuclear deal. As the presidential elections approach, President Hassan Rouhani is fighting to stay in power. But he faces a challenge from the hardliners. Iran now claims these tapes are illegal and selectively edited. But they will make life difficult for Rouhani and his government, both at home and outside. Bureau Report, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.